this one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. And that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm hmm Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of owl murder. Hmm. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. A page full of texts on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, words, the words. These words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killer's left. This mug always cheers me up.
found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside, the awful truth. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do... what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about control. Deciding what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. Did you get lost, Anderson? Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the Earth. Calderas are pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. They left a lot of garbage. Not the fastidious type.
I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. Welcome back, Anderson. Hey, you made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. A creepy twig sculpture? Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Hey, Casey, what's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson, just one case without the rid... A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do.
Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. to see you still in one piece, Anderson. The forest can be a dangerous place. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Odeer Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here? Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. <laughs> and why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find.
I'll be back in a second. Roger. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. Always here. Thornton told me we're shipping the body out. We'll, we'll take care of that for you. Don't you worry about that. Proper police work. <laughs> you can trust us like you can trust the, um, uh... The blossoming trickle in spring. That was beautiful, Thornton. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> how much have you had? Not enough. That's how much. Everybody. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my... <laughs> I mean, our oh, float dear. will be the bell of the ball of this you. year's Deerfest. Just a few more days. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. 
They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Calder Mike was passed off. I'm gonna guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Oh, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? So, what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake. He was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What were you doing at Colgin Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. I mean, they were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree. Called up the tree. Uh, oh, and then we found out. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The fence was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. I need to know more about the Code of the Tree if I'm going to shut them down. Think, Saga.
think. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing, Timmy. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She... drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. 
fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. The wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Who else to keep this city clean if not I? Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. I'll be right with you, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket. Whenever you're ready to take my money. Hey. Agent. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Okay, let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. Uh-huh. They did leave something inside his chest. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us.
No. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. to get into the light now. the room. I need to find it.
he didn't have a heart. But he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future? There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale, gone missing here 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the page. This page, the first page that they had found, not the last, the first step down into terrifying depths, secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words, these words, felt like a message was a message. Someone knew they were here, what they were doing. Someone playing a game with them, leading them on. An invitation. How could they not accept? The sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them, even if they knew it would end up hurting them. The autopsy room was a mess, like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her under the light, lurched past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them, hurt the darkness in them, made them vulnerable. I flick the switch, it goes click. Show me the clicker, lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch, get out of my house, Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth, Nightingale had no heart in his chest. But here he was, killing a monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. There is no rational blunt. explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. 
Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake, calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. We, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? They're a fine pair. Oh dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. You only had a tour guide also, bear season. Oh no, a bear. Help. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh, wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why, at Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, fuck the government. We have bolt cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere. Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. A tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermo. My client has been held here long enough. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead.
Mayor Seta won't roll over on the issues. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. Did you check out the town, Anderson? Just getting my bearings. Ready to go? Waiting on you. Uh, rinse and repeat. Clock out, get a beer. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books. Alex, Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. 